Greetings Exiles, Bullshifter here, and here are my top 5 tips to avoid game burnout and game fatigue in Path of Exile. Now what I mean by burnout or game fatigue is simply once you get to a point where you've played the game so much, you've grinded so hard that essentially you've just become kind of sick of the game and uh, you know just kind of lost your desire to play. Um, I mean it's something that's really common with pretty much any game but especially for a game that can be as grind intensive as Path of Exile it's much more common players will push really really hard towards trying to get to you know specific goals or specific checkpoints and they just kind of push themselves to a point where they just kind of lose motivation. Uh, so these are five tips to kind of help you avoid that point in your uh, playthrough. Now, number five in my five tips is, you know, simply going to be to pace yourself. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot of things that you can do in Path of Exile, so you probably have a lot of, you know, heavy goals to achieve throughout the league. However, doing everything within a couple of days it really isn't going to benefit you all that much when you have plenty of time. Now, yes, there are people who go out there and participate in, like, the races and things like that. Uh, but, I mean, for the average player, it's just completely unnecessary. So, for example, you know, say you're trying to use a bunch of orbs of fusing to get to that six-link item, or you're trying to make your red map push, um, or you're trying to get to a specific level in the delve. Uh, don't try and do it all within a day. You know, um, say you've spent 400, 500, 600 orbs of fusing going through and trying to get that six link item. Uh, yeah, take a break from that. You know, you don't, uh, sitting down and using, you know, 1500 orbs of fusing in a single day, uh, it's not going to feel good. You know, you're not going to enjoy that gaming session. It's going to feel like a complete grind because, well, you turn that gaming session into a complete grind. Uh, you know, the same with pushing through your maps, you know, uh, pushing all the way to red tier in a day, it, uh, you know, you may hit a wall with some of your gear and you may just need to kind of take a break from it to just, you know, take some time to reset. Uh, so, you know, I would just suggest not trying to push too hard on your goals within a short period of time. Pace yourself. At number four, which is kind of related, uh, switch up your content every now and again. You know, uh, say you've been pushing maps for a few of your play sessions and you're just kind of getting worn out from it or you know the lag is frustrating you on the higher tier maps you know switch to delving for a little bit do some incursions uh do some missions for einhar go ahead and check out the trade market do some crafting there's an absolute ton of content within this game uh so i mean you don't have to sit and grind the same thing over and over and over again uh, you know, if you kind of get sick of one area of content, it can be helpful to, you know, go ahead and run something else for a little while. It's going to, you know, increase the longevity of the game for you. It's going to make you enjoy things a little bit more, and it's going to make things not seem so tedious. At number three, another thing that you can do to kind of uh, increase your enjoyment of the game, play with a group of people. I do it on streams all the time. I have, you know, community play days where we all just kind of get together and map together and just, you know, kind of chat. I also, you know, obviously have the uh, benefit as a streamer of, you know, being able to interact with my chat, which is kind of like playing in a group also. Uh, but, I mean, other people can really enhance the experience. And that's not just for this game. That's for pretty much any game. Um, you know, if you turn it into more of a social setting, if you you know, make it something that you're participating with other people in, it can make the grind seem not so bad if you just have some people there alongside you joking around, uh, you know, just running some different content with them. It can make things seem a lot less tedious when there's other people along for the ride. So if things, you know, start to get a little dry or a little boring for you, uh, definitely invite some people along for the ride and, you know, have some fun in a group. At number two, and this is one I highly recommend at the start of every single league, don't continue to play the same character over and over again. Uh, that's going to get boring. One of the best things about Path of Exile is this giant skill tree. Uh, you know, all the different skill gems that you can use. There's so much stuff to the game. Uh, so there's really no reason to continue to build the same character over and over and over again. That's, you know, absolutely that's going to get boring. So, you know, say one league you made a melee character. Next league, you know, try a spellcaster. 
try an archer, uh, try a necromancer, do something different, uh, step outside your comfort zone. You know, if you're someone who's always followed build guides and, you know, you've done it a few times now, try a build of your own. Uh, you know, just make the game as fun for yourself as possible. The different builds can make this game feel like a completely different game. Each league, I create a new character that is 100% different from the character that I used last league, and it helps keep the game feel feeling fresh. If you create the same type of character every single league, you're going to feel like you're just continuing to play the same game over and over and over again. And that, in essence, is going to make the game feel tedious. It's going to turn into a grind, and it's going to take away from, you know, the level of fun that you're having with the game. So, you know, I would highly recommend just trying out some different builds every now and again, even on standard. Make a brand new character. Um, you know, just really reach outside your comfort zone to try and have some fun. And my last tip for avoiding burnout in the game is sometimes you just simply need to take a break. Um, you know, and that doesn't mean setting aside the game for, you know, an entire league or a week or, you know, e even a day. But sometimes, you know, when you're grinding through content throughout the day and you just keep pushing forward in certain areas, um, you can feel a bit exhausted. And, you know, maybe you still want a game. Pop in another game. There's, uh, you know, a lot of great free-to-play games out there. Uh, there's a lot of great games in general out there. Uh, so, you know, don't feel like you have to play the same thing over and over and over again. I mean, sure, you know, time away from Path of Exile, you know, maybe it's on your mind that there's things that you wanted to accomplish that day that you're not necessarily accomplishing. But, you know, in the same regard, burning yourself out and making it so you're not even enjoying what you're doing it's not really worth it. It's going to make it so you're going to finish that goal that you've set for yourself and you're not going to want to play anymore. So I would highly recommend, you know, just stepping away, even if it's just for an hour or two. You know, if you're playing through the game, you get a blue screen, the game crashes, go play something else for a while. Uh, you know, the game's lagging and you're getting lag killed in maps. Go play something else for a little while. Watch something on, you know, Netflix or something. You know, take yourself out of the game for a little while. Give yourself some time to relax, reset, and then come back, you know, with a fresh attitude and a fresh mentality. And it'll help you enjoy the game a lot more over time. So that wraps up my top five tips. You know, I hope that if you are feeling a bit fatigued from the game or a little burned out, that one of these may end up helping you. It's just a few things to keep in mind. It is a great game. However, you know, playing any game continuously, it's totally natural to feel fatigued by the game. It's perfectly natural to just want to step away for a few minutes. I mean, I stream this game, and I have the same thing. I have to keep these, you know, tips that I've given you today in mind in order to you know, keep my enjoyment for the game going. It's not that the game gets bad or you know, changes all that much. It's just the fact that, you know, sometimes you need to implement a few of these things to just have your own continued enjoyment for a game that does require so much time and so much grinding. So just wanted to go ahead and thank you for watching this video. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for other tips and tricks as well. I have covered a good majority of the different uh, mechanics of the game on the channel, so if there's anything else you're wondering about, uh, you can obviously feel free to ask questions in the comments section. Otherwise, if there's anything you're curious about, I have likely made a video about it at this point. I do typically stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with a few exceptions. Best way to catch my streams, however, is to make sure you subscribe and have notifications turned on, so that way you can see whenever I'm online. Uh, we do have a lot of fun in the streams. I have quite a few regulars there, super nice people, a uh, really relaxed environment, and we do community play streams very often. So if you're to the point in the game where you're mapping and want to come in and play with us, uh, the invites are always open. Uh, like I said, very calm, cool, and relaxed environment. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, may the RNG be with you. Always.